Welcome to Altitude University's latest video on how to get your Part 107 in 2024. The new year is almost upon us, and if your new year's resolution is to learn a marketable skill with the potential to change your life drastically, stick around and learn how you can become a commercial drone pilot. Before we begin, hit those like and subscribe buttons so we can continue to provide you with more drone related content. Are you thinking of becoming a commercial drone pilot? Leave us a comment below and let us know what interests you about this exciting field. In the dynamic landscape of the 21st century, uncrewed aerial systems or UAS, commonly known as drones, have emerged as a pivotal tool in numerous commercial sectors. The Federal Aviation Administration or FAA recognized the significance of these developments and created the Part 107 Remote Pilot Certificate for commercial drone operations in the United States. Anyone who profits from using drones must have this certification. It's important to note that profit doesn't just mean money. It could be anything from likes on your YouTube page to getting a plate of cookies for taking pictures of your neighbor's house. This certification is more than just a legal hurdle or an attempt by the government to get more money it should be seen as the first step toward responsible and safe drone operation. As the drone industry evolves rapidly, especially in 2024, obtaining this certification requires an understanding of the rules that help make the skies safe for everyone. This video is a comprehensive guide to navigating the process of obtaining the Part 107 Remote Pilot Certificate. Let's dive right in, starting with eligibility. The journey to becoming a certified drone pilot begins with fulfilling the FAA's basic eligibility criteria. Applicants must be at least 16 years old, proficient in English with exceptions for medical reasons, and in suitable physical and mental condition to operate a small UAS safely. Additionally, a clean record concerning FAA enforcement actions is necessary. These requirements ensure that pilots possess the foundational skills and attributes essential for the complexities of drone operation. They underscore the FAA's commitment to maintaining safety standards in the national airspace reflecting the seriousness with which the agency approaches UAS operations. Next is learning the material you'll be tested on. Effective preparation is key to passing the Part 107 exam. There is no better way to do this than by enrolling in a comprehensive study course like Altitude University's Part 107 Study Guide. You can find a link to our self-paced online course in the description below. With over 18,000 students taking our course and passing the exam on their first try, we must be doing something right. Each module of our course will give you everything you need for the exam, including flashcards and five graded practice exams. Once you've mastered the material, it's time to register for the exam. Registration for the Part 107 exam is a streamlined process. Candidates must first register with the FAA through the Integrated Airman Certification and Rating Application IACRA, website or the FAA Drone Zone. This account is crucial and it will be used for your drone piloting activities with the FAA. Choosing an FAA-approved Knowledge Test Center is the next step. As of 2024, these centers are more widespread than ever, accommodating the growing interest in drone piloting. In fact, there are over 800 across the United States. Make sure to book a slot for testing as soon as you think you are close to being ready. Some testing sites have a waiting list due to high demand. The exam comes with a fee, which is standard across all FAA tests. Right now, that fee is $175, which is paid to the testing center. Fees can change over time, so make sure to check with your testing center for the current cost of taking the exam. On the exam day, candidates must bring a government-issued photo ID. The test is comprised of multiple choice questions designed to evaluate knowledge in key areas such as airspace classification, flight restrictions, understanding weather, drone regulations, and operating requirements. These topics are integral to safe and responsible drone operation. The exam structure and content are aligned with the real-world scenarios that a drone pilot might encounter, ensuring that the certification process provides skilled and knowledgeable remote pilots. Passing the exam leads to the next phase, application submission. Candidates complete the FAA Form 8710-13 for the remote pilot certificate via the IACRA website. This form verifies the applicant's eligibility and adherence to FAA operational guidelines. Following this, you'll undergo a background check by the Transportation Security Administration, or TSA. This step is crucial for national security and ensures that certified pilots pose no threat to public safety. The disqualifying crimes are pretty serious and not just things like speeding tickets. 
unless you have major convictions for things like espionage, terrorism, or treason, you should be all right. Upon successful completion of the verification, the FAA issues a temporary electronic remote pilot certificate. The official permanent certificate is mailed later. In most cases, it takes about a month or two for the permanent certificate to arrive. You're covered for the next two years. From here, it's just about flying safe and maintaining your Part 107. Maintaining the Part 107 certification is an ongoing process. As of 2024, the FAA requires remote pilots to complete a recurrent training course and pass a recurrent knowledge test every 24 months. This requirement ensures pilots remain current with the latest regulations, safety practices, and technological advances. The course and tests are free. As you can see, obtaining the Part 107 Remote Pilot Certificate is a journey that demands diligence, thorough preparation, and a commitment to continuous learning, but anyone can do it. By following these steps and utilizing our Part 107 study course, aspiring commercial drone pilots can successfully navigate the certification process. We hope you enjoyed today's video and are always here if you need us. Until next time, stay safe out there and happy flying.